Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none in no Madeo or Guam. Man, we down here, man, in Houston, Texas, man. Uh, we came down here to see uh, a premiere for, uh, is it the third or the dirty third? Dirty third. And, and we came down here because of uh, this guy that's sitting on the panel today, guys. We came all the way down here. We got the call. We heard he was going to be in it. And I said, that's my nigga, man. I'm going down to Houston, man. Regardless of what been going on, I got to go to Houston. Remember I told you, I said, look, I got to go. My boy, listen, my partner, this young nigga hard too, man. <laughs> GSO Fats in the building. What's good, man? You see, Appreciate I brought that hoe in there. I brought that hoe in there, dog. God dang. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate see, having me on Boss the, Talk. <laughs> this is the way we do it, man. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, you, we came down here for that, but we, we had you on the set in Dallas. And, uh, you know, we end up, the, we had some mishap. The, the information got lost. I was hurt, nigga, because you sat there all day long and uh, had a good time with me. Like, rapping and talking and hanging out and doing what <laughs> young niggas do and milling all them other niggas that were coming up. You that nigga, you know what I'm saying? And I was feeling the energy. I like that, that, that little young nigga, the one. That's the one nigga all day long. That nigga there is having a good time and he ain't worried about what no other nigga doing. Yeah. So, the stuff got lost. Well, we're here now. So we got to go back down this road of who you are because Boss Talk love you. At the end of the day, love Boss Talk too. 101 got much love for GSO Fat, and we, we running this whole back. That rhyme, too. So let's get to it, babe. Yes, sir. First of all, how you, GSO Fat and you skinny. What's the, what's the fat for? Um, I think I was fat when I was little. So my sister, my sister had named me Fat. Oh, um, everybody just called me that my whole life. One of them chubby babies, cute chubby babies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I love. Okay, first I gotta jump in straight into the film because let me tell you, you were the bomb. You mm -hmm. had me cracking up. <laughs> I actually almost shed a tear when I don't want to spoil it, but I almost shed a tear. I'm just gonna say that. You know exactly when I almost shed a tear. Because <laughs> it was so believable. I'm like, why? Why did they do that? I was so mad. Man, so let, let's, let's go back into his history. You jump in the shit. I know, I know. I just, had to, I just had to say that. I just had to say that. I want to know about this dude. Our people don't know this dude on this channel, man. Tell everybody where who you, you from? are, where you from, bro. Um, I'm Jizz Ophet. I'm from Natchez, Mississippi. I'm 20 years old. And I've been rapping for like two years. Two, only two years? Yeah. You know, a lot of young kids, they be saying, oh, I've been rapping since I was five, six. I was rapping when I was little, but I wasn't rapping. Like, I wasn't making songs. I was just like rapping with my homeboys while we smoking or something. Oh, really? I like the fact that you're truthful about it and not just try to cap about it. You know what I mean? You're honest yeah. about like, it. I've been rapping in like the studio and dropping videos and stuff for two years. So what did you want to be when you was younger? Uh, I did thought I was going to go to the NBA. What, you was when hooping was like little. that? You was hooping like that? When I was little, I did. But I feel like this is kid, you know? But when I got older, I was like, man. So you across the nigga over back then? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Get that nigga oh, away. I'm too small. Can yeah, you yeah. still play? Huh? Can you still play? I don't know. Probably like you ain't shoot. played a long time. <laughs> I can shoot. But... Yeah, I was on. Um, I would play basketball. Then I thought I was like, man, I'm small. Like everybody was like growing up past mm -hmm. me, so I was like, damn. I guess hard. this ain't for me. So no. you got brothers and sisters. I start getting money. You got brothers and sisters. Yeah. How many? Two brothers and two sisters. You the youngest, baby boy. So you mama's baby. Yeah. Where daddy at? Uh, he out there in that. Let me see. It. So he was in the household with both of y'all. Um, when I was a baby, but then he got a new wife. Okay, yeah. you like her? That's good. So y'all got a good relationship. Yeah. So your daddy was is was he always like impactful in your life? Was he be like when you got in trouble, he like pull you up type of dude or? No, uh, he was like I don't know. Like, he always took my side on everything. So. Really? Yeah. Like, That's my different because it's always the mama. Him, like, my mama would call him and be like. You know, mm -hmm. uh, this day that I get with him, like, like my daddy never whooped me before. 
But he with me did. one time when I had got a spell. I had got a spell from fifth grade. Mm. He had whooped me the one time. And that was worse than if your mama ever whooped you, wasn't it? Oh, my mom used to beat the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> Which one was worse? Anytime, like, anytime I did some bad, mm -hmm. my mom finna whoop my ass. Huh? Mm -mm. Were you Walk scared of your mama? Me, huh? Was you scared of your mama or scared of your dad? No, I just used to do bad shit. But I used to be like, I gotta do something. Tell me something that you did was that was real, real bad. That was like the straw. A lot of stuff. Like what? Like, like, give me one thing. Example. Like me and my homeboys, we was just running in people's houses and shit. Mm. We was right. running. Yeah, but we was just doing the shit. So because y'all boy. Mad. But my daddy, he he'll be mad too. But he ain't gonna be mad like my mama gonna mm -hmm. be mad. You feel me? Like say about it. When I was little, like when me and Tyler, like we had boats and windows and shit. Cause it was the dude, it was the dude stay on me. Mm -hmm. And um, my mama boyfriend, his partner. Mm. So he was stay on me in the basement room. So I'm like, he was gone. We went in his room. Me and I, my home, we like, man, what this nigga be doing? So we found like two guns in his room. Did y'all steal it? We thought they was real. They looked real. Like, they and looked it wasn't like AR-15s. They wasn't real? So I'm like, dude, he got two ARs right here. So my homeboy picked it up. I picked the other one up. It was a BB gun. So I'm like, what the fuck? This nigga got BB mm. guns for? He grown. So we were like, fuck it. We go outside. We just shooting everything. We're going to be shooting it. And we had shot the candle at the window. You know, BB guns can cause some damage, though. You know Put that. nigga right? out. Real talk. Yeah. Yeah. We had, we had shot the candle at the window. Y'all got in trouble for that? Yeah. I was like, probably like, I was, you know, I was like 11. You know why mamas be on y'all so much? Because that, for me, of course, I'm a mom, so I be like scared that one thing, I'm like, God don't take their life. Because anything could have happened. You run into a house, somebody pull a gun and sh shoot you. That's why mamas be so worried. You know, y'all not taking it serious, but for us moms, be looking like we just don't want you to get killed. You know, like that's how I think though. Like my mom, she yeah, she just be like scared. That's the thing. But my daddy, he just be like he be chirping. Son. No, you know, that damn. You know how I be. We know already, nigga. Yeah, men are different. Do. Yeah, when mama really too over over the top. Over his ass. Yeah, she be over. Like she, yeah, since um. The rapper, what's her name? Yeah, yeah. I killed out her. Uh huh. She be calling you all the time. She calling. Don't go to the club tonight. I be like, because <laughs> she don't want to happen to you. <laughs> she still live down there, in Mississippi. Yeah, she ain't leaving out there. How you say where you from? Nat Natchez. Natchez. Like Natchez. none of my people want to leave from out there. Why? Like my dad. And you couldn't wait to leave. Yeah, my dad. He like he hunting. Like he country. Mm -hmm. so he got like. You got them, he be on deers and stuff? Yeah. yeah I like to holler at that nigga. He got them deer sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, man. That nigga got them deer sausages, man. You know, you don't understand, man, when a nigga get them processed right and add a little bit of that pork sausage in it. I know y'all don't really eat pork because nah. you niggas Muslim. I'm not. But you add a little bit of that pork in, just a little bit into that bite, that, that ice <laughs> and that deer. Mm -hmm. Get it grounded up and get it processed, man. Mark and them, man. Bring me some in that white wrap that they done got it. Pro yeah, nigga, we gonna eat that sausage sandwich. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and my so, mom, she got like a little food truck out there, so she. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, that she, Oh, she can cook then. Yeah, she cook. Can you cook? Did you get any of that from your mom? Yeah. Look I can cook. A little bit. Oh, so so <laughs> any girl be lucky to get you because you gonna cook for her. I can't cook like that. <laughs> Well, I can cook like chicken and stuff, like fried chicken. <laughs> that nigga ain't for the y'all want it. I you can't know cook. what a woman you know, do. No, you, you know, want to take care of man, but we want a man to do it for us every now and again. Nah, they want you to get a little white plate, <laughs> get some leaves to roll it for right. No, Listen, no. Them, them little green leaves that be on the plate. We don't want oh, no, that. And then they fresh and they put the little strawberries or something, <laughs> something to the side. No, we women do that. Y'all don't have to do that. Dress it up with a piece of just throw that chicken right there to the side. Yeah, that same chicken, there, but just make sure you get some old grass looking green stuff put on the white plate yeah. and then sprinkle it at the end. Here, baby, she, oh, he cooked for me. Man, if you don't go, <laughs> no, we don't want that. 
I don't care about the pretty <laughs> stuff when you cook. Let's cook for me. We'll do all that pretty stuff. Man, I cook for this woman, man. And once, you know, once, listen, every, man. once every once every blue moon. Don't woman, start. Man, I come in, man. You know what I'm saying? And I treat her just like she treat me. Here, don't die. You know what I'm don't die. <laughs> I go back and watch Yo, you better eat it before it get cold. You know what I'm saying? Don't <laughs> die. <laughs> Ain't that the way when you been with somebody long time? Don't let them fool you. You better eat your food now. It's gonna get cold. I'm not warming it back up. You know that. <laughs> They don't want to treat you like like the movies. They treat you real like like yeah. But I don't hell no. I don't go down like that, bro. They be lying like they do that. But they do that on special occasions. So if you ever mess around and get jump a broom or get tired in a situation, just know that it's not going to be good. Like this started. You know, we t- earlier we were talking about relationships. <laughs> you get off that. No, no we talking good. about relationships. We're talking about Blueface and um, Christian Rock. And what do you think about their relationship? Would you ever date a girl in the industry? No, let me let me rephrase that question. Do you think she gonna hold him down now that he doesn't got himself in trouble if he get locked up for mm. a long time? That's a good question. Yeah. You think she, she, think hold she him gonna hold him down? down? She got a new face on her tooth. She, she <laughs> gonna have to hold him down. She might take it out and put a new um, veneer in and she let that go. Face right here. So fast, you think she gonna hold him down? No she matter how to. many years, no matter how many years he get. She got to, cause they too out the feel me? Mm-hmm. If she do miss somebody, it's gonna just go viral. <laughs> it sure is, you right. <laughs> cause she can't even get caught like that. Oh well, no. no. Yes, she gotta hold him down. Just like that time whenever um that was going viral when people were spreading that picture when she was with this other dude or something like that on the beach or whatever, and that picture was going everywhere. Yeah. Because everybody's like, that's that that's that um tattoo. Everybody was looking at a tattoo and like, that's her, that's her. So yeah, they couldn't I even see her want face. No girl like that, though, no. like, with some like, other man. Man, if you got a girl who got a dude thing tattooed on her back. You, you know, might have the same name that her ex do dude that. have. Yeah, we some people do, do that. Thing. I I I had tattooed before I met my wife, but we don't know. We're not doing none of that. This is his private announcement. Yeah, yeah. He looking at he 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 hitting it from the back. And yeah, you see his name tattooed. No. On the back. <laughs> but, but hold up though. But if you dating a girl and she said, "Baby, I love you so much. I'm gonna put your face on my back." Would you let her do that? If you want to, <laughs> I don't know. This, I don't know. Would Some you put her face on like you? A, no. You know, damn well he ain't doing that. <laughs> he not Mm-mm. doing that. He even come. if you love her, Mm-mm. you still ain't gonna do that. Not even her name. Mm-mm. Why? Only, only way, only way he'll do that. That's weird. Let me cut it up. Only way he'll do that is. How you gonna answer his if question? She, for listen, if she died, yeah, and nigga, let it. But if she don't die, she ain't getting no it tattoo on that nigga. Like, I get no. your name, and then we break up. No, she and died. And find another girl with her name. Yeah. <laughs> if she die, that's the only real way he'll do it. Am I right? Yeah. Or if she had his kids. If she die, I don't say that. Cause I got kids. <laughs> And you wouldn't put your baby mama's name on you. Mm. Mm. Okay. It, it, but I still mama, got love for my baby mama, but it's just weird. Mm-hmm. Mm. I get you. Yeah. So let, let, let's, let me let, since she jumped in the in, in the into this uh, hip hop phase, uh, let's talk about uh, you know I got to get this out. Take off when he got killed here. Um. Did the young niggas move different at that point? Like, oh man, that's crazy how that happened. Oh, I'm not for the move like this or that. Or did they, did they just be like, oh, that's on that nigga? You know what I'm saying? He got caught up in the situation. How does how do the young nigga look at it now? I'd be like, damn, that's it. That's the last person. But did you ever meet, meet him? Did you ever meet him? No, never met him. I ain't never met the Migos, but I met him one time. I'm like, damn, that's the last person I thought of, like. Get killed Cause he real quiet And low key Yeah he hard You know what I mean? he, he just chilling Yeah that's crazy That's all I can say is, Damn Damn Like like how and In Houston Do you ever really been to, like, Have you ever been To that bowling alley Yeah You been over there Yeah What they be doing over there Bowling <laughs> it's, just, it's a party Yeah So, so they he, always be gambling Not always But You know If somebody wanna shoot dice Or what Mm-hmm. Like if you bring a lot of people in here, <laughs> yeah, 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 right. gonna be shooting. Nigga right. gonna shoot. Really, nigga gonna take this table and put a tile put on, a tile it. on it. Yeah, and roll pad roll on a nigga all night. <laughs> Y'all gonna be mad at me. But let me ask you a question. So every time when people be shooting dice, no matter where you are, 
Is there always an argument or a fight or a disagreement? Most of the time. All the time? Uh, most of our niggas gonna say something, though. I don't, I, don't be real, I don't know what happened out there. Because it's like, everybody had money, so I don't feel like, I don't know. It probably wasn't even about nothing like that. That's right. Not about no money. And you know, you won't know until, you know, somebody decides to speak up that really And even know. then, you don't know then because people do lie. People say their point of views, but it don't always be 100% true. But when you were down here while this was going on, and like I said, being from somewhere else, even when we spoke earlier, like, you know, family members from uh, Natchez, you know, they gonna be like, man, you, man, stay out the way out there, man. Don't be, <laughs> they calling like, yeah, nigga, man, we seen what's happening in Houston. They think it's all over. Oh, now, yeah, no matter how big Houston, Houston is, Chicago, it's a big place, you know. And then to top it off, Kodak Black come down here and they say he was fighting last week. With who? <laughs> who the hell was you fighting mm -hmm. with? I don't even know, hey. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I heard this on the media. It could be true. Allegedly, he was down here and he had a fight with somebody. It's like, what the hell, man? Like, why I come to Houston right after this and, this and then it go down like that? But that's what I heard. That may not be true, but it's damn sure what I heard. You know what I'm saying? Through the media. Now, you know these bloggers, they're going to they gonna sauce it up a little bit for them views. So, But I damn sure know I heard that. You know what I'm saying? But did, you, ain't hear, you say you ain't know it was that's here. That's why I feel like... Don't nobody look at that different like the like like young people. Probably like the older people probably like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all just telling they young people to like be careful in Houston, but the young people probably just looking at it like Cause it's a lot of people get killed out here. You feel so me? that ain't that just the one that was popular that you knew. Yeah, it's like a lot of people get killed everywhere. So like, You know it's niggas dying. Everywhere. Just like Chicago. Yeah. So when you just see stuff like this, you just be like and you know they got yeah. you know what I'm fat. I'm gonna be honest with you. It ain't nothing new. Like like yeah, niggas was dying. We didn't have the internet, but when I was young, niggas were getting killed too. It ain't like it just started. Just we amplified with these pictures and videos, but it's the same thing. People die every day. You know, people get shot every day. B, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just yeah, he was famous, and it was on tape. You know what I'm saying? Just fucked up. But. Think about it just for a minute. Let's let's talk about this here. Um, you basically signed over to Seven Kings. Yes, sir. You, this was about two years ago. Yeah. How do you feel about where you at right now in your career? I feel like I'm headed in the right direction. I feel like I just got to be patient and just keep grinding. Okay. Um, so how did you end up meeting uh, King Noah? Um, you remember I told you I wasn't rapping for real. Like, okay. I started rapping for real when I signed to him. Like okay. when I signed to him, I ain't had no songs, and then I had one song on YouTube that like like me and all my partners and my people from like my section, they like put all their money together for me, and made me a video. My first video had to twenty k, but really, I was just really just freestyling, making freestyle videos, and um, really I made my first one on my birthday. It was my birthday. I was, I was drunk. I had made a freestyle video. My partner had recorded and put it on his page. So they had like 10,000 views on Instagram. I'm like, damn. So That's I just hard. kept doing them on my page. Like every week, you feel me? Just dropping freestyles. And, um, I would go into the studio, do a night Marbo. He knew somebody named C. Meach. And they had told, you know, they did. They talking about it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um, they ended up hitting me up on Instagram. And I would text him for a minute, and then we start FaceTime, and then like a, a year or something went by, and then he had really found out he had knew all my people and stuff, like my mama, my um, my brother, my brother people, cause my me and my brother got different daddies. Mm -hmm. He knew all my brother people, like they from the same place, just hard. same street, cause cause Noah from Mississippi too, right? Yeah, King Noah, yeah, he from down there. We were just talking, then I was on, I was on probation. So um, my PO was like, um, if I go to college, she like, if you go to college, I'm gonna let you off when you graduate. I was like, hey. So I went to college and I got kicked out. But I was still standing. You got kicked out of what college? Um, what is it called? In Macomb, um, Southwest. Okay. It's like a little small school. But it was turn though. I liked it. You up there kicking it, wasn't you? White girls and shit. <laughs> it was turn. So um, I ended up getting like a few fights. And, um, 
I ain't no getting kicked out, but I was running, you feel me? Yeah. Like, every day the dude to come down on the cart, trying to come to my dorm room, tell me to go to the den, I'd be gone. Wow. And, uh, I didn't stop going to class, but I was just still stand up. I get to school. Yeah. So my PO think I'm still you going know, to that school. Cause my 30, yeah. he, he was playing football though. Oh, he, that's where you met 30? Nah, 30 my god, bro. Oh, you already knew him, okay. So y'all just going to the same school. That's the reason I even went to the school. I'm like, dude, I got to go to some college. Yeah, because so that's what probation. kids think, right? The uh, two, though. They're like, we got to do something. Because everybody talking about it. And then, but their probation know. really was really predicting it, too. Yeah, but then I was in Mississippi, too. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to be dating in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Like, Fuck, I'm going to go to college. That's, a, that's so much of a misconception, though. Just because you go to college don't mean it's going to do, do you right. Some people not for some college for certain people. It ain't for everybody. But I ain't gonna lie, everybody need to try college though, cause it's fun. It's fun. I went to college. Like outside all the work and all. I this went shit. to college, but I wasn't in college. I was like you. Yeah. I was up there. That's how I was. Man. I was up there at first, like man, I'm just finna do this shit to get off what's nothing. Yeah. But then when I started going like to the parties and games and shit, white hoes. <laughs> Like, like, like white hoes, that nigga mentioned white hoes twice. Like white hoes, nigga. Really? The white hoes is over there. I'm like, yeah. lit, bro. I love that bitch. Wow. I ain't love like I ain't love like the school part of college, but like the parties and, and like the going to the football games and the basketball game. Oh, lit, son. So Clean tell me, tell me, like once he locked into you. Uh, you basically uh, you move up to Houston. Um, mm -hmm. Was it was it a long? It was a year time. Was was you already on the label? Was he giving you money? Was he hooking yeah. you up with different like, things? I still I was in the streets real bad. Like when I had talked to him the first time, I was fucked up. Like I don't know, my mindset was fucked up. Or what? But he just wasn't ready for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He, he, <laughs> he wasn't bring, gonna do it. I can't bring him down. So shit, I was in college. I like, man, so you gotta bring me down there. Like, wow, <laughs> I'm, wow. like, I'm fucked up right now. <laughs> like, police at this bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I got the fighting, and I had here to do with some brass knuckles right here. And that's how you got that. Yeah, and shit. You? The police, his family was trying to find me. Son. What? Like, the police and shit. That's why I called him, like, son, I fucked up, son. I gotta go. Feel me? Yeah. So then he was like, all right, he sent me a ticket. And then I had. Can you know I sent you a ticket? And say but you the whole go. time he was talking to me, he was sending me money. Like, doing, like, I showing was going to the shit love. studio. Yeah. He was just getting Go do me your music. Out. Yeah. Like, I really calling on, you know what I'm saying? Like, whenever I fucked up and needed some shit, he was. He so, was and me you were down here in Houston. Mm -mm. I mean, he was down here in Houston. Yeah, I ain't even met him before yet. You had never in real met life. Him. I had just was talking to him on the phone. Okay, yeah. So when he when he when he called for you, you 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 he finally sent your ticket. You come down after you because you pressed to come down. Yeah, right? I came down with no clothes. No clothes. Yep. Who was the first? Because you had already been in the studio. Had you been in the studio with any known person before before coming to Houston? Mm -hmm. No, I was. Um, I was just really running around Baton Rouge. Who was the who was the first person that you worked with when you got down here to Houston? Um, first person <laughs> was it Young Ro? Yeah, it was Young Ro. <laughs> Young Ro? Yeah. So how was that? How did you even meet Young Ro? Um, I had got off the bus, and um, no one of them had got me right, and um, we had went to the studio, and D boy, no sleep. Okay. He was like, um, you know, he like court. I don't know. He like got ideas. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No he help a nigga. He help a nigga to yeah. understand what's going on. Giving no ideas. You know, helping him out because he's, you know, we all was still new. So shit, he was like, um, I think him and your role do a good song. So we had linked up and made the song Pain. Yeah, yeah. And then I had made a song with uh, Young Lyric too. Okay, Young Lyric. I think she was the first person I made a song with. Oh, sick. before him? She was either first or sick. Okay. But yeah, I had it up. How did you think those songs did for you, especially the one with Young Row? They had, um, ain't nobody know me in Houston, so when I had dropped them songs, like, I was going up in Houston. The niggas started knowing who you were. Yeah. 
And I just start being there what? Ice is a bit. Hard. Going everywhere. Anything jumping, I was done. Nigga trying to figure out who you was when you walk in the place. Yeah, like, I was really wasn't even leaving no house. Because I still had that mindset, like that Nazi mindset. Yeah. I was just like, man, I ain't want, I ain't want nobody nothing like that. And then um, I just went outside. Noah had went out of town. I just had went outside. When he came back, I knew everybody out there. <laughs> that Jay Prince and everybody. So uh, it, it, that's it, yeah. And so yeah. Uh, how what, long did it take you to get out of that mindset? A little minute. You, you know how it be like when you just. How I ain't never been to the city before, so when I how came was, out, how, how was it when? And I don't mean to cut you off because we got to get that part. Like like you say, you met Jay Prince and everybody. You don't just meet Jay Prince. How did you even how? meet Jay? Well, I had met his son at first. Which one? Junior. You met Junior? Yeah, I had met him in the clubs. And y'all just seen each other because y'all be y'all was out? Yeah. I had met him in the clubs, but um, Noah and, um, like, I told you, everybody talking about me out here. So, um, Noah, I guess the old man, J, J Prince, had um, heard about me or whatever. So, me and Noah went down there and let him hear out my, my catalog. Yeah. And, and and how was that? How was it? How did how was the did did how was the response? It was alright, you know. What he liked the I music. I didn't know who he was. I ain't you know ain't who. even know who the old man was. Yeah, so I was just like. So you never heard about him at at that time. No, that's so, why I love so young niggas. They don't know music, nothing about. I was him. just like. Mm. And when he has, you know, when he, he said like, something, you find your sound. I was just like. Nigga, what you so tell me to find my sound? In your yeah, mind, you're like, yeah. why are you telling me to find my sound, nigga? I'm the one you listening to. You don't know it's Jay Bridge. You don't yeah, know nothing about know that. Nothing. So how did you feel yeah. when he said that? You kind of like, what did he think of to tell me that? I don't know. He really, I think he fucked with it, though. No, but how, when he said you need to find your sound, what did, what did you think? Be real. You didn't I know it. just like, shit. So? No, because <laughs> you didn't know him. So when, did you you find out? when did you find out? Cause sometimes it's when you leave, somebody yeah. pull you to the side and say, "You know who that really was." Like in my head, I'm like, "When did you find you? out? You when did you, you find out? And who when told you?" When I walked you? outside, when I walked outside studio, everybody like, "Dude, they were telling me." Yeah, they were like, "Damn, you, you and know I went." Who cause I was thinking, cause Carl Crawford was there too. That's who you was talking. Like he'd have been. I was, I was talking to him. I didn't <laughs> know who Carl is here, man. Yeah, cause you knew who Carl was. Yeah, cause I had, he had invited me to his studio. Carl mm. Crawford and I had made a song with his artist. Mm. Which one of them? D. Raw. Yeah, 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 he been on Boss Talk. Yeah, I had made a song with him when I first came. But that's I love the young folk cause you know I know Jay. Much respect for uh, Jay Prince. We in oh, yeah. Texas. Oh. I'm always show We're respect. In I, I mean, you know, we in Houston right now. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I mean, the old man, good dude. Uh, paved the way for a lot of a lot of the stuff that that goes on that went on back in the days up until you know now. Um, uh, uh, hey, I never seen nothing flaw with. I mean, I seen him at the Palms Hotel in in oh eight oh oh nine when oh, we yeah. was up there. Like we used to be at the Palms, and that's where we was at back then. The, uh, I just remember him being there. Suge Knight was there. We was all there. Uh, it was me, Suge Knight, him. Dennis Siegel, there's a nigga named Lil J running around bothering everybody, acting like he knew the owners of the, of the hotel. <laughs> so he was just keeping up havoc all through the hotel. I think his name was Jay, if I'm not mistaken. And 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 Jay Prince walked by, and I see him walk by, and we just gambling and shooting dice, and me and Shug, I just remember the scenery. We was just there. You know what I mean? This is how we're going down back in the day. But I remember him from paving the way for the ghetto boys. Yeah. Paving the way for the ghetto boys, uh, opening doors for different people in the South, uh, showing love to the South in a way to where people would see us. Yeah. Even Master P and all the old cats, uh, like myself, they know that that Prince was one of them ones that really was up on music before yeah. everybody else. See, I so ain't that's who he was. That. Yeah. But now, I be seeing him a lot. Like he, <laughs> he pull up to like a lot of stuff. He does? Yeah, because yeah. you know, with the family, yeah, 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 yeah. With the um, the Hoover family, he be putting up to a lot of a lot of events. Yeah, so I be really seeing him a lot now. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. I I just thank God, you know, that uh, you you came down here and you linked in and you understand how to move in this city, yeah. man. That's big. You know what I'm saying? So, let, but even seeing that, just a minute, because to me, going through that, it would also make me want to go research past um, legends. 
so that you don't get caught like that slipping <laughs> again. You see what I mean? Yeah, that's what I did. You need I to have. know the faces and know how impactful some of these people were on the music industry. Yeah, that's what I had did. I had um, after I had met him, I was like, mm. when I got home, I was like, I just typed his name up on YouTube. <laughs> I was like, damn, yeah. <laughs> he doing his thing, huh? <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you you come down here, you 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 link with uh, a different people. Let's 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 just go into a little bit more with somebody else you work with as well. I was looking at uh, oh, Fast Lane. Oh yeah, OTB. OTB Fast Lane. Yeah, that's my boy. So that that was how did you how did you and him even meet? Um, the kind of the same way. Same way, well, um, like D Boy, Young, young Row, same way. Yeah, uh, I had met Fast Lane in the studio. He, well, we had we we knew we were finna make a song together. Well, he had pulled up, but that's why I met him at the studio. Yeah, we were just vibing, you know what I'm saying? He fucked with me though. That's he hard. Fucked with me. He fucked with I, me. I, I, I want to get into the fact that you and Birdman, and when you link with Birdman, just how it was, uh, uh, just meeting him for the first time as well. Like, like when you met Birdman and you pulled up on him, how did that all happen? Um, I had a, I had an event with Universal and Cash Money, where I had to present all my stuff. Okay. Like my videos. Did you have to rap? No. Okay. I had to present like my videos and my music. Me and Tohi, you know, like all the stuff that we got coming soon. And um, I was recording. At the Hit Factory in Miami, in that's his it, studio. Yeah, that's his studio. Yeah, I've been in his room, like, the real room, his room. So I was recording and up. Well, really, we was just in there waiting, waiting till the last people leave to record. So we just sitting in there, then he just walked in up. But I was like, I don't know, son. He was talking like he was mad at me or some shit. Why? What was he saying? <laughs> <laughs> what was he saying? Man, he was just like, this shit ain't no game. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that he talking yeah, with talk. He was dead ass. So I was like, damn. So I'm like, damn. So I'm really meeting Birdman. <laughs> but I had met Slim first. He was a good. Okay. Man. I had met him in Miami too. Okay. The, before um, you met. Yeah. Be before you met his brother. I had met Birdman like, like months later. So you met Slim first. Yeah. yeah. What Slim? What you? How you meet Slim? Um, I don't know, bro. You don't even remember. It was um, at the um. You were high. Uh, it was a Miami, I know, but I don't know how I met him. Like I don't know who set it up. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where y'all meet up at? Um, at the hotel. And it was just he I came. I think it was some. It was some he, shit. He Noah pulled up. It's some King Noah did. Yeah, so he, I was at the hotel. It was me and Young Al. Okay. He came out here. Okay. Um, we was at the hotel in Miami. Matter of fact, we was out there to record it, the Heat Factory, but we just ended up chilling in the room, smoking. And he was like, hey, go downstairs and get that food right quick, fat. You and Al. So we like, babe. Walk downstairs. Slam down that bitch. Chilly. Like, hey. What did he say? And when you saw him, you knew exactly who he was. Yeah, I knew who he was. I was like, oh, shit. Nigga Slim. Tall bitch. Nigga tall. What, what do you like say to you? Seven feet. What do you say? What do he say to you? Noah popped out. I'm like, oh, yeah, I try to surprise a nigga. Uh -huh. So, see, he was just like, um, we going to do business in the future. Just keep listening to Noah. Mm. I was just like, all right, bet. So, see, we came back to Houston. I'm like, that was it. So, you felt like, okay, we going to do business. Listen to him. <laughs> Rocking with <laughs> listening to Noah. Now, for sure. <laughs> so, see, so, like a little time went by. And then we just, I had stayed and sent me my country. And then we had got looked over and signed it. And then that's when I met Birdman. And, then, and Birdman come through and told you, he say this, it ain't no game. Yeah, I had seen, he was just telling me, like, I can't get in trouble no more. And, you know what I'm saying? To, to think and be patient and just a lot of stuff. Like, you know? Yeah, when the last time you spoke with him? Mm, I be texting him a lot on the phone. Text? Yeah, and um, Last time I seen him was like a few months ago. He had called me and told us to come to New Orleans. Oh, you went down to New Orleans? Yeah, me and my homeboys. How was it? Was that yeah. Juvie Tuesday? Oh, wasn't on no Tuesday, wasn't it? Nah, I think he had a video shoot with Future or somebody. Okay, oh, okay, and you pulled up? Yeah, we was just really riding around in the Buku Whoops. Hanging. Buku Chilling. Maybach. Buku Maybach. Y'all hanging out in Mo How that feel just to be running around in Maybachs all through the town? 
Shit, I like ain't I wanna leave. Hey, well, how was it? I ain't wanna leave. Shit, <laughs> shit. I'm finna stay out here. Child boy. That's crazy. But how hard it being so young and, you know, young folks get into a lot of mess. You understand what I mean? Because I see it all over social media and stuff like that. When Birdman's telling you you can't get in trouble, because a lot of times people say, well, I don't go looking for it, but it come find me. How hard is it to stay out of trouble? And do you remember what he said? Like when you see certain things coming your way, you'd be like, man, I can't, I can't go that route. And you go yeah. left instead. Yeah, that's what I do not like. I don't get in trouble no more. Like mm -hmm. I used to be bad as fuck, mm -hmm. but shit, I got kids now. Right? You feel me? How so many you got? One. One. But I just be like, damn. Boy, you know a girl. That? A girl. That's whole. Oh, so daddy's little like, girl. Like music be stopping me too, mm -hmm. but it really be that. You know what I'm saying? I be like, hell no, nah, I can't do no crazy shit. But I really, I really just be, um, put up. That's why I been there. Like hey, since I love y'all last time. Mm -hmm. I ain't been nowhere. Like I ain't been to the club in a minute. My first time popping back out was at the movie thing the other night. I That's like. I ain't that. been on social media either. I got my manager running my shit right now. See, I like that because for the main fact, I hate to see when good kids or good people, you know, get in trouble or get hurt, especially because we look at y'all like you have a promising future. People look at you just like the reason why he said don't get in trouble because he know where you can go. And we just don't want to see you mess up that future. You know what I mean? So you got to think about your kids. You got to think about your future. You can't, it's not worth it to go out here and do this stuff. You know what I yeah. mean? So what about this song Quando Rondo? Did it did you did it ever move? Uh I ain't never dropped it. You never did drop it. Why? I don't know. Just didn't feel like it was time. Will you ever drop it? Yeah, I will. But shit. Is right it up now. to you? No. Oh, okay. Collective people, y'all all working together, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Let me um let me let me ask you this. when you when you and um you and you and Birdman, you know, uh Y'all built a relationship now because y'all been knowing each other for a year or so, right? Yeah. That's hard, you know. You know, not, not not many people can say that, you know. What do you expect in the next, like, this year coming up, 2023? What from the label, from from working with Cash Money, working with Seven Kings? What's the what's the what what are you expecting this year? Um, coming up. Well, I just um I just turned in my first like project. Okay. My first project with. Cash money. That's hard. A few days ago, so. Let's we'll see what happened. Moving with that song, yeah. What about Boosie? Yeah, I know you did a song with Boosie, didn't you? Yeah. How was that? I'm, pretty, I'm actually finna do a song with his son. You and mm. uh, Two, his name uh, Tootie. 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 Yeah, I had hit him up on Instagram, cause him and my partner, 450. Mm -hmm. Like, I my partner G5, all of them, mm -hmm. House G5, mm -hmm. he from Natchez. Okay. He be selling all the rappers, mm -hmm. Pluto. So, um, him, you know, him just being with all the rappers or whatever, he'd be a booster a lot. Yeah. So, I was in Atlanta, and I, you know, tapped in with all his people, and um, I just had DM to the, like, hey, bro, I'm full fair to let brother make a song. But what, how was, how was, uh, how, 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 how did, and when you talked to, you talked to Tootie? Yeah, he was like, bitch, send it to me. Did he even know who you was? Nah, he just. He do, like, I just seen videos of him, like, riding in the car, playing my song. Really? With G5, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because my people, they be around him a lot, so yeah. they be kind of, you know what I'm saying? Playing my shit, you know what I'm saying? So, I know he know who I am, so I just had DM him, I'm like, fuck it, let me just go and break that. Wow. So, so the song, I'm going to go back, I'm going to take you back to the song with you and Boosie. How did y'all do it? What was the, how did y'all even link? Was it through King Noah? Or? Yeah. Um... It was really, it was J Prince Day. We were feeding the homeless out here. Okay. And Boosie was out there feeding the homeless. And um, Miss Hoover was okay. out there too. And um, Boosie was talking to Miss Hoover about something. Okay. But I know somehow I got a song out of it. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? That'll so work. They were just like, pull up to the so studio. You got, you got a song out of it. They were like, pull up to the studio. Boom, boom. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? What happened? Buying clothes, those who said what? But, I just pull up and rock out like the label say pull up. I pull up. Um, um, you we, we, do you think the song did good with you and Boosie? Did yeah. you do what it? Yeah. that's my biggest song. I feel like I overdropped. Really? I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna say it's the biggest song I got, but that's the biggest song I dropped for right now. Really? And, yeah. and you feel, you feel like well, it, not D, but probably one of 
one of the biggest songs. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's real hard, actually. I like it because you gotta you you know you gotta work well with well, well, well with others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you you just hear so many things, man, down here. How are you gonna stay out the way, man? Like of what's going on? I know your family already telling you to stay out the way, but you just gonna move like you move because you don't be out yeah, there like, like that anyway. I ain't no dumbass. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like I feel like I'm raised different from all these niggas. Okay. Just being from Mississippi. You know yeah, yeah, saying? yeah. Like, you ain't out here crashing. Out. I peep shit like quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As yeah, soon yeah. as I peep something, I. Out the way, or all the way in Whatever the way. Whatever's going on, I'm a red. I ain't gonna red. fold in no situation. You feel me? No, no, I feel you. So I me, feel I can see something <coughs> happen before it even happened. You know what I'm saying? So really, I don't even be nowhere like that no more. But like when I was trying to build my name up in Houston, I was just everywhere. Like, but now I just feel like I gotta slow down because I ain't had no deal back then. Like I had a deal, but I ain't had no major deal. You know what I'm saying? Would, so would you, now I'm like, I got the deals. Man. Yeah, deal, you got to so work right. So do you? Would you ever do something with NBA Young Boy? Cause, yeah, I would. Cause I, I, I know you know he be linked with Birdman, so that would be an easy you know easy bridge to you know cross. Yeah, Young Boy hard. Yeah, so so I know they be you know they got a relationship. Yeah, shit. Too. So that would be hard. I'd love to see you and him do something together. Yeah, hopefully. He, hopefully. Yeah. I just love your attitude and love the fact that how humble you are and to be 20 years old and to, and to have a demeanor. you already been in a film. Um, you moving the way you're supposed to move. Do you want to be in more films? Yeah, I want to get to the point where I just, just do straight movies. Really? Yeah, because, like, music, that shit hard. That shit dangerous. Son. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, you been had to kill a nigga or a nigga been yeah, killed, killed you. Yeah, uh, Over anything, right. Man, I, I hope the film thing take off for you like it has. You did a great job in that movie, and I'm gonna sure. be honest with you, I respect it. Um, I'm, I came down here to see it, and you didn't let me down. <laughs> um, I, I, I definitely uh, can't wait to see you in another film. Oh yeah, um, I got. I'm finna. I'm trying. I got people working on it right now. Oh yeah, yeah. That's hard, man. So who your best producer before I get you off of here? Producer, um, I got two. Okay, I'm gonna say three. Okay. Uh, turn me up three times. Okay. Eric Keys. Okay. And um, DJ XO. DJ XO. I, I met him the other night. Yeah. B Duns too. And Tussin. A Damn. lot of. Damn. Okay. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Top Any three. John. Any John. Juice Well. Juice Well number Jackson. one. Michael Jackson number two. Um, Tupac. 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 You like Tupac? That's all. I like. I ain't gonna say I like to. I like how he moved. You like, like how he was moving, how he was doing his thing. Yeah, that's hard. You know what I love about you know the fact that you're so young and you're still saying Michael Jackson is the fact that he he's gonna live on for decades yeah. and decades more to come. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like your kids' kids still gonna be like, yeah, I love Michael Jackson. That that trips me but out. That, like that, that's our culture. I yeah. think every artist needs to strive for that legacy. To be wow. able to leave that for our kids, kids, not just my generation and everybody know me. And then, you know, just like you say, you didn't even know Jay Prince. You didn't know, you know, probably a lot of the older rappers. But look at Michael Jackson, where even young kids know him. It's crazy, man. Like I said, man, the main thing I want to say is, man, you know, being down there in Houston and, and like I say, definitely want to show love and, uh, pray, you know, send our prayers for the family of the Migos. Mm, Take man, off, sure. you know what I'm saying? Uh, Take off was a real humble dude, a real respectful dude. When I met him, when I seen him, uh, he was moving like he's supposed to move in. Uh, some things happened that day too, though, that were crazy. I never forget it. That was when Sean Kingston was up there in in, uh, in, in Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that. I was there that day. Um, man, it's just crazy how things be going, man. But I just want to tell you, we love you, brother. You know, yeah, I really yeah, ride for you, bro. And, and and then you coming back to Dallas, right? Uh, yeah. You come and do the interview when you pulling up. You gotta tell me when. Whenever. No, I'm serious. Like not long. Don't and let it be like right. you ain't got, you ain't called me. I gave you my number. You done changed numbers. You probably unfollow me on Instagram. I'm old. Changing. I gotta go back and check been my on, Instagram. I ain't been on Instagram. Like all that stuff. You ain't been on there. Nah, I ain't been That's on. That's somebody else. Yeah, it's <laughs> me. But I just I ain't been on there. Like I probably send it to him. Be like post this for him real quick. Who the hardest? Like, really, I ain't, I ain't trying to see no. Internet stuff right now. Who, who the hardest out here in Houston right now for you? Like, like when you think about like the young Houston rapper. rapper. Yeah, outside of yourself, just 
who the hardest out here? Mm-hmm. Texas people. Lee Chad. Who? Lil Chad? Lee Chad. He go hard. Hard. He next up. Okay, Lil Chad, shout out, man. Shoot, I, I'm, I'm going to see what, I'm going to check him out. I'm going to ride. And, Lil and Chad, see. hard, hard. Hard, hard. That's my Wow. Point. That's crazy, man. Um, so, man, thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101. How can people get a hold to you if they're trying to link? Um, y'all can y'all can really Google me. GSO, P-H-A-T, and everything will pop up. Already, man. A nigga a movie star. That nigga didn't say that last time we interviewed. Y'all niggas can just Google me. I'm on this and that play. You're going to see me pop up. <laughs> what, are the, what are the films you want to get into? Um, so do you want to, like, jump straight into the movie industry? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, my first movie, like, I was nervous. I wasn't really nervous when I was doing it, but I was, like, nervous on, like, how it was going to look. Like, damn. But like, playing that dude, you, play, you played it perfect. You looked the part. How did you feel about it when you right. see yourself on film? That's what I was saying. That's what I was scared about the whole time. I'm like, yeah, but it was once cool you saw it, it, but I just want to see it. So so how when did you, you saw it, how did look. you think? What did you think when you saw it? Did you know you It was, was like, better than I thought it was going to be. You I like, thought I was fucking up. <laughs> you did a good job. Like when I was shooting, I thought I was messing up. But I wasn't. I, damn. I look like a real actor. No, no, you did a good job. I'm telling you, you made, for me, you was the highlight of the whole thing. For me. Because yo, 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 not only you were young, but then you gave a different. Uh, yo, yo, yo! The energy you I brought. I like the comedy side of the you. The energy you brought. It was the energy. It was the energy. The way you was asking questions, just like yourself. It's just yeah. like you was in my store that day. It was the same. Like you was in your own zone, doing your own thing, having a good time, and that's what you're supposed to do. That's what life is all about. Yeah. Check I, it, man. I'm for sure want to shoot a lot of movies. On. Already. It's been another great segment, man. Thank you so much. You, a boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. GSO Fat just killed another interview on Boss Talk 101. Yeah. And we out.